I have something to show you guys. Some of you may know about this and some of you may not. Basically what it is, is a plugin that lets you transfer audio into MIDI and it's free. So let's get into it. <laughs> if this is your first time, welcome. Please comment, like, subscribe if you are interested in beat making videos and things of that nature. And let me know where you're from. So let's get back to the video. What it's called is Samp Lab. And this is one of the reasons why I love you guys that subscribe to my channel and comment because I learned a lot from you guys. So one of my subscribers had wrote in the comments, have you heard of Samp Lab? And I was like, not really. So I went ahead and checked it out. So yeah, you'll go to samplab.com, samplab.com, right? And this is it. And you can download this for free. They have a paid version, which gives you more features, but we just worried about the free stuff right now. Super simple. So basically you change any note in your audio, original sample, our AI takes the audio part and you can freely change all notes. So I'm going to demonstrate that right now. This is kind of like my first time doing this. So I have a sample right here and this comes from my Filt Loops kit. I will leave a link to that below if you're interested. Check this out. So this is one of the loops, right? That's one of the audio loops that's in the kit I'm talking about. Field Loops 4, Volume 4, actually. So let's bring up Samp Lab. That's this guy. And basically, I will take the same audio. The audio is over here. And I will drag it into this area. Okay, so it says your sample is too long. And the reason is because this is the free version. So this is the caveat. Since it's free, it has limitations. But you have 10 seconds. You could do a lot with 10 seconds, man. If you think about it, you know, just get to chopping. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and hit continue. Okay. So, and the thing about it is you can drag what part of the 10 seconds you want, you know, just with your mouse. I'm just going to take the first 10 seconds. And so what happens is it transfers that audio into MIDI. And that's what you see right here. So once you have the MIDI, now you can drag that into your DAW. I'm using Logic, but it doesn't matter what DAW you have. So I'm going to go ahead and drag this simply like this. Also import tempo information. I'm going to say no. So now let's listen at, again, it only takes the first 10 seconds. So you're not going to hear the entire sample, but that's okay. So now let's listen to what the MIDI did. That's pretty close, bro, or sis, if you're watching. <laughs> That's pretty close. Let me play the original audio one more time so y'all can compare, hear the difference. That's the original. And here is the Samp Lab AI, what they did and turned it into MIDI. That's pretty crazy, man. I can't lie. Did I say this was free? <laughs> it's free, man. Okay, so see the good thing about MIDI, and I all anytime I talk about MIDI, the thing about MIDI is you can change these notes around, man, and you can do what you want. So notice that it cut off, right? It cut off right here because it was a 10 second limit right around here. I could just copy another part of the MIDI and put it in that last part to make it complete. You know, I could do something like that if I wanted to. Let's listen to the original one more time. Right? Third chord, fourth chord. So it kind of goes back on that last part. Right? So I could go to the MIDI. So this is the part I want to copy. 
I can copy that and then paste it right here. Since this is MIDI, I can manipulate this however I want to. Delete that. Anything else? Yeah, let's delete this. Let's delete that and then paste the first part of that sample. All right, cool. I think that's cool. <laughs> okay. Okay, so it's not exactly, but that's pretty close. You could kind of hear some warping sounds too, by the way, but that's all good. The point is, it's now MIDI. So that means you can take any audio that you have, right? <laughs> any audio and turn it into MIDI. That's bananas. Okay, so let's see what you could do with this. For example, let's say I wanted to add, you know, or maybe change some of the bass notes. Let's see. Like this at the beginning right here. I can make this even lower. See what I'm saying? And this note right here, I can change that. Turn these into more bass notes. Change that note. See what I'm saying? That is crazy. <laughs> also means that I can copy these notes and put it onto another track. I will copy this track onto this bass track. So it's the exact same thing. So I'll just drag it down, right? And then what I'll do is erase all the top notes because I don't care about that. I'm just going to use bass notes. See what happens if I do this. See that? And that's from using the same MIDI notes from the track above. <laughs> Y'all get what I'm saying? <laughs> and then, you know, you can add drums and do your thing with the drums however you want. And man. Not bananas, man. Did I say it's free? It's free. <laughs> hey. Again, Samp Lab, man. Check it out. Check, man. Come on, man. Just go to samplab.com. And this is the free version now. The free version. Now, there's a paid version. The paid version gives you more sampling time. Okay. So I think it also has more features as well. But if you just want something simple, you know, that you want to transfer audio into MIDI, like I just did, there you have it. It's your man, Jay Field. I'm saying the peace and positive energy. <laughs> So if you like this video, hit that thumbs up button. More videos on the way. Please check out all the links down below this video. And I will see you guys on the next one. I'm sending peace and positive energy.